Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Connie and this channel is all about plants. So if you're interested in that type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So lately I've been moving a lot of my plants over from soil to water. A lot of them are aglaonemas, but I've also been moving over some philodendrons and also some pothos. So there were some plants that I've seen lately at the big box stores that I've been avoiding because they're more on the thirsty side. But I'm gonna go back to Lowe's and see if they have a couple of the plants that I was looking at. And if they do, I'm going to transfer them over to water. I also wanna pick up a couple of glass vases, maybe from the Dollar Tree, because there's other plants here that I want to transfer over as well. So that's what the plan is today. So let's go see what all we can find. So this is the same Lowe's that I was at the last time. First thing I wanna do is see if that Moonlight Philodendron is still back there in clearance. Looks like they have a lot of new plants. So I might have to check inside for new plants also. But the first thing I'm gonna do is check this clearance section and see if anyone picked up that Moonlight Philodendron. A lot of the plants that were here last time are gone and I don't see it. So that's good. Someone picked it up. I see some orchids over here. But yeah, it looks like somebody got that Moonlight Philodendron. So I'm gonna go inside and see if they have the other plant that I want. They did get a new shipment because there's a lot more of these Stromanthi Trio Stars. So that's good. Let me see if there's anything else new. So the plant that I came back for is the Homolamina selby. And it was right over here somewhere. Oh, they did some rearranging because this wasn't like this the last time. So hopefully I can find some new plants also. Oh, right away. Look at this. They have the Hoya Kamingiana. Okay, and this is by Live Trends. Let's see how much this is. $18.98 for this. They have this on a heart trellis. I don't think I saw these little heart shaped planters with the air plants and then last time these are for valentine's day they're 6.98 so this is the homolamina selby and this is a plant that i actually came back for i think it's such a pretty plant i also really like this planter and what i want to do is remove this from soil and transfer it to water but I want to see if I can find a clear vase that can fit right into this planter so I can still use this. You can see there's some browning on the edges here and on this leaf right here. But there's still a lot of good leaves here. So that's good. I was able to find this. Now let me see if there's anything else new since the last video. I don't remember seeing this Manjula pothos here. It's like an arrangement with a parlor palm and a croton and a self-watering pot for $17.98. Peace lilies are also a really good option for growing in water. Those look pretty good. Here's a nice full basket of Manjula pothos. Let's see. This one's $16.98. I don't think I saw that Philodendron Mikens either. Maybe I passed it up last time. Not sure. $16.98 for this one. Guys, they rearranged this section over here, but I think I see another plant back there that I didn't see the last time that I want. 
kind of looks like it from here. Oh my goodness, it is. I'm getting this. Look at this. I did not see this last time, so I don't know if it was hidden. And maybe I only saw it from the bottom leaves and thought maybe it was a calathea. But I'm getting this. This is so nice. It does have a few damaged leaves, like right here and there. But it's such a full plant that I don't think that's going to really make a difference. I'll probably just trim that part off. Here's another Hoya Comingiana. Here's a Jet Peace Lily. This is another really pretty one. It's the Variegated Peace Lily. And this would be a good option for growing in water. There's a couple of these. Here's another one here. That one doesn't look as good as this one. Let's take a look. This one has a little bit of browning on the edges, but it still has a pretty good amount of leaves. So this one would do good in water also. All right, guys, I'm back home, and this is one of the plants that I got. When I first looked this up, homolaminas were coming up, and so were shishmataglottis. But this is actually an apoballus purple sword. And look at the back of the leaves. It has this really deep purple color and i just love the markings on these leaves it almost has like a camouflage type of look this was 22.95 it was in the urban jungle line and i was so happy that i found this because i was about to walk out and i just happened to see this on the top shelf at first I thought it was a faux plant. I noticed that the soil is really, really dry. So that tells me that it's not as thirsty as I thought it would have been. And it's really big. I also got this Homolamina Selby. This is the one that came in this pot right here by Urban Jungle and this was a plant that I actually went back for, so I was happy to see that it was still there. I am going to be transferring this to water, and I want to keep it in this pot. So I'm going to see if I could try to find a glass vase that fits inside of this so I can still use this pot. I actually had both of these in mind when I went back to Lowe's, even though I didn't even see this one the first time I went there. I don't know what made me think of it. I guess I was just thinking about plants that I've been wanting, but just avoiding them because I thought they were too thirsty for my attention. So I feel so lucky that I found both of these. And last but not least, I picked up this Hoya Comingiana. And as you can see, it's on a heart trellis. So I guess they put these out for Valentine's Day. This was $18.98 and it came in this ceramic pot. I picked this up because I looked up what the flowers look like and they're so cute. But yeah, that is the other plant that I got. I'm really not sure how Hoy is doing water, but I'm not transferring this one. So here's some of the plants that I already have growing in water, like here I have my Philodendron Painted Lady and my Philodendron Florida Green, and those are just growing in these glass vases. And as you can see, there's water roots already growing in them. And I've just been leaving them like that because I like the way that they look displayed here in my plant room. This is the Aglaonema Golden Bay. This was in soil. It was in like a 10 inch nursery pot that I had gotten from Home Depot. I really like the way this looks in here. And I'm gonna start moving most of my other aglanemas over to water as well. This aglanema candy cane right here used to be so full and now it's very, very leggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over from soil to water as well. This is my Jasenia pothos. It was looking so leggy and I didn't like how it looked. So I went ahead and I chopped up this plant 
and I just placed it in water inside this container right here. I typically change the water in all of these plants about once a week or about every 10 days. And I also add a little bit of fertilizer to the water. And here are my Ikea Bagabo shelf. I have these aglanemas that I got from Aeroid Asia recently. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. And when I got these, I went ahead and I put them straight into this vase of water and I did like a little aglanema bouquet. The only problem is that when plants are already growing in soil and they have soil roots and you put them inside water, those soil roots aren't used to being in water like that. So they'll end up getting mushy. And honestly, I think it's best that you just go ahead and trim off those roots before you even put them in the water. And you don't have to worry about all the mushiness and any type of root rot or bacteria getting inside the water. So I think that I'm probably gonna end up trimming all these soil roots off. It won't hurt to go ahead and trim them off and just start fresh so that you get all new water roots growing. It's just gonna take some time for those new roots to grow. But also, if you want your plants to grow really big, they're not gonna get as big when you grow them in water like this. So it has its pros and cons. For me, I don't want these to grow too much bigger anyway because I'm short for space, so I don't need these to grow too big. This is another example of some of the plants that I have growing in water. I also have some aglaonema cuttings down here that are growing in water in some clear glass vases. You can see right here, these are all new water roots and i'm going to take this out right now sometimes when you have it in a glass vase and it's growing in water if it gets too much heat or too much light it'll start growing algae so you want to make sure and take these and dump out the water clean the vessel out at least once a week or when you notice you know this algae make sure you go ahead and clean it um, right away because you don't want this to get root rot. So this is an example of what you don't want to happen because you don't want that water to have any bacteria in it. So this is actually a good example of some really good water roots that grew from this aglaonema right here. This is actually in a larger plant that someone had broken off and I was able to save it. So yeah, this is really good to see that these roots are growing nicely, but you could see here that this algae is on the bottom of the bottle and I already rinsed it out and it's still not coming out. So you wanna have like a little bottle brush if you use vessels like this. So that's something that I need to go out and get today. I actually got this bottle from the Dollar Tree I usually pick these up whenever I see them. This is just a smooth one, but they also have other ones like with ribs on them. I need to go to Dollar Tree to get some more of these. I need to get a bottle brush. Here's another plant I have growing in a glass vase. This is also from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is my Aglaonema two-tone moonstone. This is one of the plants that I had a while back that declined and I was able to save these cuttings and I chopped it up, you know, to the length that I wanted it to be and cut all the roots off. And as you can see, it has already grown all new water roots here. And I just have some little clay balls in here. These came from Timu. They're really just for decor. All these new leaves are growing out now from the inside of this vase. All these are new leaves. So I thought that was really cool. This is another aglaonema that I have growing in water. I just recently moved this over to water. So this is one that I cut all the roots off completely. You do wanna add some liquid fertilizer to your water as well. So just go by the directions on your fertilizer and um, use that amount so your plant can get the nutrients that it needs to 
grow those roots and to stay nice and healthy. And of course I have my propagation wall over here where I'm growing a lot of different cuttings in water. I don't know if this is the best example to be showing you right now because those little glass jars are pretty dirty right now. So I have to stay on top of cleaning them out. It did come with a little brush, which is really helpful. And this is actually listed in my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested in getting one like this, you can find it in the link in the description box. But I just wanted to show you this since this video is about all the plants that I'm growing in water. And I'll show you some of the plants that I have in here. A lot of times the plants that I have in here growing are just cuttings or pieces of a plant that got broken off and I just stick them right in here. So I have a Syndapsis pictus argyreus right here. I also have a Cebu blue right here. This is a Philodendron Mayoi, believe it or not. Here's a smaller leaf. Here's a Golden Pothos. Here is a Marble Queen Pothos. And then down here, I just have some Lucky Bamboo. This is getting really yellow, so that's not doing well. This one's already growing roots, I could see that. Let's see. See those little roots growing on that one? It's a little Lucky Bamboo or Dracaena. I have this Monstera adansonii. That one's growing roots also. But like I said, I gotta clean these bottles out and fill them up with water. That's another area where I have plants growing in water. I also have more aglaonemas growing here in water. See these little jars like this is what I look for when I go to the Dollar Tree or the thrift shop because I know that I can use these to grow plants in water or for cuttings and propagations. I thought this was really pretty. I had gotten this from Dollar Tree a while ago and I think I did a video on that. I think this is the Aglaonema Gajamata. And I'll show you the main plant that I got this from. There were three plants inside the pot, but this one right here, I think broke off. And so I just put it in water. So that's an example of some of the reasons why I move them to water sometimes. And here's another Aglaonema that I, that had broken off and I put in this glass jar and you can see it's already growing roots here. And as far as the amount of time they usually take to grow roots, I would say I start seeing new roots in about two weeks after them being in water. I also wanna move this Baltic Blue Pothos over to water. You know, if you go ahead and like bunch it up like this, you can kind of see about what size you want the vase to be, but also keeping in mind that when you get the vase, you wanna make sure that the opening of the vase is going to be big enough in case your roots start growing after a while and you want to remove the plant because you don't want to have to break the vase to get the plant out but anyway this is another one I want to move over to water so I need a vase for this I also need a vase for this eventually I might start adding a uh, LECA to some of my plants as well but for now I want to go out and get some glass vases from Dollar Tree. See, this is a short one that could probably fit inside that pot that the Homolamina came in, but it's a little too small. I wish it was about double the size, but the height is just right. So they have this type. And they also have this one. So this is the glass section. And some of these can be used for your hydroponics also. Like these mason jars can be used. And these right here would be good also. Then they have these jars right here. They come with lids, but you wouldn't need the lid. I think I might pick up this jar right here for the homolamina because the height of it fits perfectly. And I think the roots should be fine. So they also have these coca liners, $1.25. And then they have the little metal frame that you put it in. So I'm gonna pick up two of these. I already put the liner in this one. 
So you got both pieces for two fifty. So I also need a bottle brush for some of the slimmer vases, and I think I'm gonna get one of these right here. Actually, this is a toilet brush. So I picked up a couple of these cocoa liners and the hanging wire baskets. I also picked up a few glass vases. They had this style right here and this style right here. A little bit different and I also picked up this glass jar right here I'm gonna try to use this one to transfer the homolamina selby into hopefully it's the right size so I can just place it right inside of the planter that it came in it does fit in here just right so let me take a quick look at the roots and see what we're working with. The roots are actually very fine. So now that I have most of the potting soil off of the roots, I'm just gonna go ahead and Take this outside and spray it down with the water hose to try to remove as much of this soil as possible. And then I'm gonna transfer it over to the glass vase and add a little bit of fertilizer. So I'm gonna start out with this water hose on the shower setting and if I need more pressure, I'll change it to the jet setting, but I just wanna make sure that I remove all of the soil. So the shower setting was able to get most of the soil off, but there was some thick pieces that were stuck in this area right here. And so I used the jet setting and that got most of it off. I'm just gonna finish it off right now on the jet setting. All right, so the roots look very clean right now. Okay, so I filled this glass jar a little bit above the halfway line because I don't want the water to be above the roots and touching the leaves. And I'm also gonna add just about a couple drops of this miracle Grow plant food because you're supposed to use one teaspoon for every gallon and this is way smaller than a gallon. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops in there. And let's see how well this fits in here. Okay, so it fits perfectly. So you can see the water inside of the glass jar is very clear. There's no remnants of soil. So I did a pretty good job cleaning the soil off and the roots fit in there perfectly. This is what it looks like in this jar alone. It's kind of leaning over a little bit, but that's no big deal. And it fits in there perfectly. So this is what it looks like inside of here. And you can't even tell that there is a glass jar inside of it. So I'm hoping that this does the trick so that I can keep this beauty alive. 
So yeah guys, this is how it turned out and I'm very happy with the outcome. Let me know in the comments if you're growing any plants hydroponically, whether it's in water alone or in LECA and how your experience has been so far. Also, whether you have any plants that are very thirsty and you're considering transferring them over to water as well. I also wanted to mention that I'm gonna leave the Apoballus Purple Sword in soil for now, because when I first got it, the soil was completely dry and the plant looked perfectly fine. So I went ahead and treated it for pests and I gave it a good watering and it seems to be doing fine so far. If I do notice that the plant starts to decline and it needs to be watered quite often, then I will go ahead and transfer it to water. But for now, so far, so good. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share for more plant-related videos. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.